All right, so I wanted to chime in on this Tyreek Hill situation because obviously it was, you know, turned into a, a big media storm, and I know, like, the media can only say certain things. I saw it completely different than the media, but I do understand, you know, with their platform, they're afraid to say certain things. Well, I don't really have a platform, so I'm, I'm just going to say how I said, you know, how I saw it. And, um, you know, as you can see, I'm, I'm also a black man as well. Um, I'm also a police supporter. Um, but I think there's, like, you know, a different side. There's some things that people maybe aren't considering. So let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, and, of course, if you would like this, please comment, subscribe, and, you know, leave a like. And But I wanted to chime in on this whole idea that if Tyreek Hill was white, how this would play out. Um, so you, you got to look at it this way. You have to say, like, if Tyreek Hill was white and he was uncooperative and he, you know, didn't want to roll down his window, all that stuff, would this have played out any differently? One thing to take in mind is that the police, they do, you know, brutality exists for everyone, you know. Um, more white people are killed by the police yearly, you know, at least last time I checked. Um, this was years ago, but, um, you know, so the police, <clears throat> I say that not because, like, I'm, you know, I understand, you know, that it's blacks and a higher, you know, there's more blacks, you know, like, percentage-wise that get killed, but I just wanted to say that, you know, stuff happens to you know, to white guys too. So it's not always a race thing. Uh, people will try to make it out to, to be that way. I remember cops are black also. There's white cops. There's Hispanic, Asian. I think in this situation there are Mexican cops. But anyway, uh, you know, this was Miami. So you can tell that, you know, there was like some Hispanic descent. But I think, honestly, like I think the same thing could have possibly happened if, if he was white. I can't say that for a fact. I, I have no idea. But, um, you know, I just think the whole thing could have been prevented. You know, as you can see, Tyreek Hill, I don't know. I don't want to play the whole thing because I don't want to get copyrighted. But um, basically, Tyreek Hill rolls his, if you want to watch the, the film, you can. But Tyreek Hill has his window up. The cop knocks on the, on the window. Uh, Tyreek Hill, the first thing out of his mouth isn't, you know, hey, officer, um, you know, what's going on, whatever. Like his, his first words were, don't knock on my window like that. Don't knock on my window like that. Don't knock on my window like that. Like five times. The cop's trying to tell him something. He just ignores it. So that part, you know, it was just unnecessary. And then, of course, he rolls his window back up. The cop says, hey, hey, don't roll your window back up. And if I'm not mistaken, I think <clears throat> he had tinted windows, too. So I think, um, you know, that's kind of a, you know what I mean? Like, you should, you got to be careful with that. You know, you have tinted windows. The cop can't really see. They can't see if you're pulling for a gun or whatever the case is. So... You know, you got to think of it from their perspective as well, because we're always looking at it from like the victim's perspective. But in this in this situation, like I said, this whole thing could have been prevented had he have just give, given him his license, didn't have to hesitate, didn't have to do any of the you know the unnecessary back and forth. Um, you know, if he had an attitude, you, you have a right to have an attitude. But the fact that he rolled his window back up, um, the fact that you you refused, you weren't cooperative. Because um, my, my take was completely different until I saw this police video. <laughs> Once I saw the police video, I'm like, okay, well, come on. Like, he wasn't knocking on the window aggressively. The cop had to, you know, like, how is the cop going to get your attention? And then let me ask let me ask you this. How, how would you have liked the cops to respond in this situation? You know, like, if, if he was, um, you know, if he would have cooperated, everything would have been good. But, but in, in this situation... How would you have liked the cops to have responded? So I would like to know, like, if you have a different opinion in the comments below, I'd love to know. Um, you know, did you want the cops to just walk away and say, hey, you know what, you're a football player? Um, go ahead, you know, never mind. You know, like, in fact, can I have an autograph? Can I have a signed jersey? That, that's not how it works. We don't do special treatment. And speaking of special treatment, that's... The thing that bothered me most is that his teammates got involved. His teammates were doing the right thing. I, I'm not saying anything bad about his teammates, Calais Campbell great guy but basically the, that's the thing that bothered me the most is actually that the fact that Tyreek Hill got his teammates involved his teammates were there to help him you, you, you're possibly endangering your teammates life just because you have the idea that you're above the law and you don't have to follow the rules like everybody else because you're a, you know NFL star and he's a damn good wide receiver he's the best wide receiver in football easily without a doubt but because this Tyreek Hill decided he was above the law he, he wanted special treatment um, he ended up getting his teammates incidentally involved and possibly endangering their life. So that's the thing that bothered me the most, actually, about this. But um, but I'd love to know in the comments below, what do you think the cops could have done differently? Maybe not slam them to the ground like that, you know, but, I mean, come on. Like, you got to cooperate. Um, that's what they teach. It. That's what they teach everyone. They should teach not just black guys, but, like, every parent should teach their son, 
how to cooperate. You got to be cooperative. You can't just simply, I mean, like, keep your hands on the wheel. It's, it's very simple. Keep your hands on the wheel. Yes, sir. No, sir. Give your ID when asked. And you're on your way. You know, pay the ticket. Why is Tyreek Hill worried about a, a fine? Like, why is he worried about a ticket? You got, did you did you just not see, like, you're the most, you're the highest paid non-quarterback in football. You got, like, a massive contract. Don't worry about a ticket, man. Don't don't get attitude. Just pay the ticket. Like, if, if it was me, I'd be glad to pay the ticket. Here you go, man. <laughs> like, I'm not I'm not losing any sleep over, like, you know, a ticket. I'm not losing, losing any sleep over my insurance going up or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm a millionaire. Like, what is there to worry about? Like, I mean, so, you know, so if, and then Tyreek Hill, instead of owning up, he had a chance to own up and say, I'm sorry, you know, at the end of it. But nope, uh, Tyreek Hill instead says, what if I was not Tyreek Hill? Well, what if you were cooperative? That's what I want to know, like, in the comments. Just let, I'd love to hear, like, any, any different thoughts, but I just, I really wanted to chime in because there's this idea that, you know, we have another, um, Trayvon situation or we have another or Trayvon situation or we have another um, George Floyd situation like this is not this does not deserve to be in the same category as George Floyd and let me just say this there are cops that deserve to be locked up and go to prison forever um, I don't care what happens to them in prison I mean there are cops like that but to say that you know the cops are bad you know this idea this negative anti-cop sediment that keeps going on I just don't think it's fair you know and as a you know as as blacks we deal with the same thing you know black people commit crimes you know we're all horrible people we got to stop that idea you know <clears throat> we got to stop it but anyway I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below um, do you think this was fair could the cops have done this any better um, did Tyree kill could he have cooperated better yeah I'd love to get your thoughts but I'll catch you guys in the next video and peace.